Hello everybody, it is Ouroboros Rero, aka Death Kill. Today I am on the PTS. I have made a build for the new gear set that's coming out called the Hotshot gear set. It is a sniper rifle gear set, completely sniper rifle. So it gives you 30% sniper rifle damage or maximum rifle. 30% weapon handling for the stability because a lot of them are very unstable. You'll see this is going to go very well with the SVD. This is the perfect matchup. And 30% headshot damage, which is nice because it's a headshot one. <coughs> so its four piece talent is headache. First headshot with a marksman rifle or a sniper rifle will increase the next headshot damage by 20%. Second headshot consecutive, so you have to hit it in a row without missing unless you're using the backpack will give you 10% armor if you have full armor and you have taken no damage it will give you 50% bonus armor which is nice that th so there could be two versions of this I might make a defensive PvP version of this build uh, maybe see if it works out the third headshot will refill the magazine so it is it is crucial that you hit your headshots with this build so from the first headshot forward so basically after you get four consecutive headshots and every single one after that one you will get all the three bonuses for each consecutive headshot missing the headshot will reset the cycle so basically if you hit, after you hit the first headshot you get the 20 percent damage buff from the uh second from the first shot and you're gonna keep getting that. You're gonna get the bonus armor, and then you're gonna refill your magazine every single shot, as long as you do not miss. This is very good. So I have the build like this. I'm using the gift. You don't have to use the gift to get that two providence bonus. You could use Walker and Harris, which will do a lot more damage for the extra five percent weapon damage, especially if you're using glass cannon and stuff. This would be, I would rather use a Walker Harris, but if you're using it with a Mantis or like any other gun you could use like the two piece providence so the reason I'm saying that you don't need the crit chance you could you could go all damage on this build uh if you use the white death let me pull let me equip that real quick the white death I leveled it up to level 16 because I do not have the the 5% damage on the weapon for the magazine slot usually you would have a 5% weapon damage bonus but since it's the PTS I do not have it so I leveled it up to level 16 I leveled the other guns to level 11 because most players should be at least at level 11 it's not that hard to get a weapon to 11 so I have the white death at 16 for lack of the 5% weapon damage so there is a new talent with this relic named it is perfect focus after killing an enemy with a headshot the next shot landing on any enemy will be a guaranteed critical headshot so you don't even have to hit them in the head right boom headshot on the foot of course we're going to hit them in the head though with this build and you're going to be using the perfect focus or hopefully I checked the the library focus does seem to be a talent so you would put focus on a white death so you had to find for another white death or if you have a perfect white death with we'll them side the cover on it already you reroll the talent so this talent would be a uh, a focus talent like this one and so with this is you you don't have to have any crit chance on your build and you're always gonna crit so I'll, let me show you how much damage this would do right there you saw it so it does 8,000 and then it does 10,000 12,000 10,000 because I don't have the bonus I'm part I'm rocking naked right now unfortunately
So you you would always crit. So you'll be hitting like 10, 10 million at least. You'll be hitting a lot. I recommend you using it with a white death or some other sniper. So this is the way you want to build it. You could also opt to build it with a fox's prayers like this. Oh, let me back out real quick. H. So the backpack it lets you miss a headshot before resetting the cycle. This is, this is pretty nice. So if you're not comfortable with lighting every single headshot, you could use this backpack instead, which lets you miss one bullet before breaking it, and it resets as soon as you hit it again. So this would be good for any any sniper. So the snipers I recommend using with this build is the SVD, the Mantis, the Nemesis, the White Death, and especially the Dread Addict. Unfortunately, I do not have the Dread Addict in the PTS. It is not rewarded to me, even with the uh, the caches. Excuse me. Uh, the Dread Addict will be the sniper I would want to use this with. It's, it's very similar to the Paratrooper. It, well, it is an SVD. But what the Dread Addict does is shooting enemies with a, a stacks to 20. 20 max stacks. Each stack grants 2% weapon damage. And 5% headshot damage. Every, every headshot grants two stacks, so it doubles the rate you get it at. So at max stacks, you have 40% weapon damage and 100% headshot damage, which is a lot of extra damage, especially with a build like this. Um, well, it has a on reload, but you know you won't have to focus on that. On reload, clear the stacks, get 5%. Of your max armor for blah 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 as temp armor, but headshot kills with a dreadic restore all bullets. It synergizes so well with this gear set, which will replenish your ammo with every consecutive shot for the third shot. So with a dreadic, this will be an amazing build, especially with the weapon handling this book gives you, because you need a lot of weapon handling for the dreadic. You're also going to be running it with as a sharpshooter, of course, for all the extra bonus, the extra headshot damage, the extra weapon stability. It is, it is perfect for this build. So, the, the way you would want to run the Dread Addict, you could either run it like this. Because you're going to be getting a lot of weapon damage from the Dread Addict. And with this, you could keep your stacks going so in case you miss a stack you don't have to reset from one to four or if you're confident in your ability on hitting your headshots you could do this build which would that would which will increase the damage output significantly if you do run it with the dread edit or any exotic sniper if for this build you would use the two piece providences for the extra crit chance it's currently I have 32% crit chance. This build is not perfect um, since it is the PTS, but you my with your mods you were compensated with crit that chance instead. I did the best I could and got some decent pieces here. So currently my crit chance is 32. Uh, that's because the mods on my gun aren't perfect either. My crit hit damage is 116 my headshot damage is 221 I have 10% amateur cover I have a bunch of stability going on everything's going well so as you can see here I am missing some crit chance here some stability here uh, this will be the 20% stability magazine so you could replace this right here and this right here for crit chance Then for the muzzle, you could do either crit more crit damage, preferably crit chance, or you could do the 20% stability one. But the stability from the magazine will be more than sufficient to get you what you need and get you to max crit chance with the other attachments on it. So the way the way it will look shooting at it, 
It'll be similar to that. It's very stable. So with the SVD, you could get this build up to 60% crit chance if you wanted. And then you could run a talent like in sync. Breadbasket. Strained. You could even go strained if you want to go that route. Uh, it's going to be hard to keep those stacks up like that. But I don't know what you're shooting. I don't know what difficulty you guys are on and how you guys like to play it. But if you're using like the white def, you definitely want to go with the focused. So if you're using it with this, the Mantis would be a very good one as well. The problem with exotics is you want more crit chance on this build. You're going to be losing out on some damage, but with the Mantis, it's going to give you so much amplified damage with a build like this that you're going to be hitting for a lot. So let me show you. So the Mantis hits for 10,000. I mean 10 million. And it crits for basically 14. That's 12 million. So you're, you're at least hitting for 9 million up. At least. Don't forget that these targets, they're not getting the extra damage from the amplified to targets that are not aim targeting you, you get 50% amplified damage. And then you, you plus you have the decoy with the skill. Unfortunately, the targets in the range do not show that to you properly. But you would at least hit for like 10 million up. Also, remember that I am not playing with any teammates, so I do not get any buffs from the firewall, demolitionist, survivalist. I am just getting basic solo player buffs, which is just my own gear set. So as you can see at the one shot, it keeps resetting my thing. So after that many shots, it reset my ammo capacity. You can see I'm not reloading, and this is just how you play it. You know, you you toss a decoy, get a couple kills, continue on like this, never reload. That's why I recommend using the dread edit with this build. Get your crit chance up. So let's simulate the dread edit. Let's put this here. I am missing some crit chance, probably. The mods will have to change. I will lose on, on some crit damage or some headshot damage. I'll probably take off, let's see here. Put some crit chances of the headshot for the for the sacrifice. Put some crit chance on the gloves. Change a mod. Get 18% crit chance basically be close to max it's not that hard to make uh, this build perfect especially since it's a gear set it's very easy to make a gear set build especially since I naturally roll red <clears throat> but this is the build the other brand set is the new brand set is no good um, it's basically a rowdy but defensive because I'm pretty sure they want us to make some a def uh, defensive Sniper PvP build. I don't recommend you doing that. It will be hard to accomplish and it'll take a long time to grind a gear set like that. I will make a build about it, see if it does work or it has any um, any chance of surviving, but that'll be when the game actually releases. If you guys have any questions, hit me up in my Discord. It's basically new. Uh, I need to grow it. Or hit me up in the YouTube comments, or hit me up on Twitch, uh, Ouroboros Rewar on Twitch, same as my YouTube. This build is gonna be very nice, and it's gonna be, it's gonna help you clear out a lot of missions. You could also use this build for PvP, and people are gonna be very upset with you in PvP. The if you hit somebody in the head with this build, they're, they're not surviving at all. There's no way, absolutely no way. 
Alright. Well, have fun out there, boys. Good luck.